Welcome to Mod Posh with Kathy and Steve. I'm Kathy Fillion, your crafty hostess. And I'm Steve Piacenza, your craft master. So today, what we're going to be making is a photo pendant charm bracelet using Mod Podge and a podgeable acrylic shapes. These are awesome gifts for Mother's Day. Mothers love them. Grandmas, aunts, sisters, friends. They are so fun and personalized. And we're using Kathy's old school photos. With a lot of bad hairdos. Thank you, Mom, no, for bad hairdos. You look cute in these <laughs> pictures. But of course, you can use your own photos and any kind of paper for this project. Before you get started, you're going to want to take your photos and go to a local coffee shop and get them color copy. You're also probably going to need to size them down, so bring your clear, podgeable shape with you and size it down on the color copier. Well, let's get started. Let's make a charm bracelet. Let's do it. So the first step is that you want to select your photo that you're going to make a charm with and make the color copy of it. Then you'll select your podgeable shape and we're using the one inch circle and then you'll just want to cut your picture to fit your podgeable shape. For this we used a circle punch to make it super easy or you can just use scissors in one of our tracing templates. Next we'll be using Mod Podge. We're going to brush the Mod Podge directly on top of our one inch acrylic, place our photo on top of the one inch acrylic and adjust it to fit. Then put another coat of Mod Podge directly on top of your photo to seal it. And let it dry for two hours. So once it's dry, it'll look like that and it will be ready for Dimensional Magic. And Dimensional Magic is gonna give it that hard glass-like finish. You'll begin around the edge and you don't need to squeeze the bottle very hard. Go right around the outer edge and it'll just pull right out of the jar. But it will self-level and it won't even spill over the edge. It's really magical. Then you'll fill in the inside and it looks cloudy now, but don't worry, it's gonna dry perfectly clear. You'll wanna do this in a cool, non-drafty place, and you'll wanna let it sit undisturbed until it's dry for 24 hours. And here is our finished dry charm with our hard glass-like finish, and you can really see, once it dries, that the colors really pop. The last thing is that you'll need to assemble your charm bracelet. And we're just using this rhinestone charm bracelet, but you can use any charm bracelet blank. And you're gonna need a jump ring. I've gone ahead and opened that one up. And grab your jump ring with your pliers. You'll loop it through one of your links. And grab the other side with another plier. And you'll put your photo on. Photo charm on, I guess I should say. So you'll just close that up, and boom, got yourself a photo charm. So you can see it's that simple to take a photo and easily make a personalized photo charm. Now our podgeables come in a variety of shapes and sizes, perfect for making the bracelet we just showed you, a pair of earrings, and how about a necklace for Mother's Day? Moms, grandmas, aunts, they will all love receiving this okay. on Mother's Day. Well, probably any day of the year they would like it. <laughs> well, thank you for joining us. And next time, we're going to do projects with Steve's old school photos. Oh, no, we're not. <laughs> Leave us a message on this video and tell us if you'd like to see some of his old mugs. See you later. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Have fun mug talking. We are not showing my photos. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the really bad haircut ones. <laughs> the layer. Yeah.